Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you all about what's good in our town. So why don't you tune on in and I'll be back in a sec to let you know what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Hey guys, so welcome back. So I'm going to be going on about art today. So there's plenty of opportunities in and around downtown. You've got all the galleries, the museums. You got to go down there and have a look, see what's down there. I've been down there quite a few times having a look around. So why don't I explain what's down there? So let's have a look, shall we? So this is on the uh downtown racine website you can pick it up there and we've got all the details of what's on and about um they have the calendar there so you can tell what's going on so you've got like hot shop glass um they make wonderful stuff in there if you go in there you can watch them doing it or you can even enroll in classes and do it yourself uh, a little bit more about that later but you've got the Racine Art Museum, the OS projects. They've got the photographic uh, design gallery down there. There's so many stuff down there. There's lots of galleries you can go in, purchase their stuff, or you can just have a look around. Um, Racine Art Museum, uh, reasonable charge. That's about 10 bucks to get in for an adult. But if you go on one of their open days, you're getting absolutely free. So Racine Art Museum, let's have a look at that, shall we? So let's pull that over. So as you can see, this is the Racine Art Museum. You've got uh, this one. You've got the Worcester up on uh, Northwestern, along with the Racine Theatre Guild. Uh, the uh, theatre is right there as well. And that's amazing. They put on some wonderful shows. Been there many occasions. Um, seen some really good productions there. They're very good. So this is from the Racine Art Museum. They have lots of uh, different projects there, um, different collections showing. So you can always go online, see what collections they've got at the moment. They also do some art classes down there, some workshops. So you can do the paper pulp work workshop, a winter sunset on canvas, a bird feeder, and safari on canvas. So if if you want to take part why not go down there have an opportunity to have a look around and see what they're offering and you could sign up for one of those classes if that's something you've always wanted to do uh, personally my favorite the one I've always wanted to do is glass blowing believe it or not I've always wanted to have a go at this and they do classes there I'm gonna have to sign up one year See, you even you can even make your own Christmas baubles, so that's a great thing to do. They also do flat glass where um, where you can piece it together. But this is uh, showing a little video of what they do down there, and they don't mind people standing and watching. They encourage it, so you can go down there, have a look for yourself what they're doing and what they're making. It's wonderful stuff absolutely beautiful and if you're not inclined to make it yourself you can purchase it so they do have items for sale in their shop which is really cool uh, especially around Halloween they do lots of pumpkins and stuff like that all made out of glass it was really really good and pretty and uh, you can ask them to make anything for you as well so you could even get a glass or a light shade um, or sign up and do it yourself so on to the OS projects let's have a look see what they do there so the OS projects they are open this Saturday um, so they have uh, productions on there if an artist has got something to show they will put it on there for you and uh, this one is from five sorry from nine till three so today it's open 
and they have displays on there, different displays going on or you can contact them to give you a private showing of what they have um, but that's on there and then what else do we have oh we've got the photograph photography studio which has loads of different things so in the photography studio we've got this one's just about Racine in and around Racine which is really good so you've got lots of stuff there but you can see they've got some lots of other stuff there as well photographic designs it's all really good gear so there's some more about Racine from the lighthouse Some really nice photos. So you can go down there if you're into photography. Why not take a run down there? That's, uh, you know, they're, they're local. They're on uh, 6th Street or, or on Main Street. All of these addresses are on. This part, we've got the Firehouse uh, 3 Museum, the Racine Heritage Museum, and the Racine Art Museum. So we've got plenty to see in and around Racine. How lucky are we that we have that, you know, considering we're not a massive town like, you know, Milwaukee, Chicago, but yet we have really, really good museums and art galleries. I was always shocked when I moved to uh, this part of the U.S. Um, I moved over from the U.K. that you have such an abundance of art places, music history, you've got loads of it. You know, we've got, talking about music, I mean, we'll do this on another day, um, but you've got loads of musical societies in and around Racine. We are spoilt for choice, guys. So don't tell me, I don't want to hear it, when people tell us, say, oh, there's nothing to do in Racine. Because there is. Watch my page and I'll tell you all about them. So join me again next week and I'll update you on some other areas of interest here in Racine or Kenosha. I'll let you know which. Bye for now.